Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amateur featherweight contest scheduled for three three-minute rounds and brought to you in association with Intelligent FS Residential. Introducing first in the blue corner with a perfect record of two wins, no losses, representing Fight Academy Island. Make some noise for Fergal Shivers! His opponent across the cage in the red corner with a perfect record, three wins, no losses, representing Combat Performance Academy. Give it up for Zach Miller! Your referee in charge, Mr. Jay Furness. Well, action continues to roll on here at UK Fighting Championships number 19. This is an amateur featherweight contest. Fergal Shivers fighting out of the blue corner in the blue Eric Shorts representing Fight Academy Island. 2-0 he is as he faces the, the Combat Performance Academy's Zach Miller in the great Pitbull Shorts. Oh, strong start there from Fergal Shivers. 3-0 for Miller, 2-0 for Shivers. Two undefeated prospects here. And Miller is uh, returning to the cage over a little hiatus. Really impressive in his first three fights. He's one of these fighters that the uh, Combat Performance Academy guys said, you got to watch this guy. He really is somebody that stands out and he's putting the performances in in the cage. So great to see him back in action. But Fergal Shivers now causing problems on top. Yeah, I don't want to age Fergal Shivers because that would be unfair. But he certainly looks a mature Without amateur. a doubt, he's got, Do you know what I mean? he's, he's got a very intimidating demeanor in there and you can tell his style, this grappling really is innate in him. He's very hard to deal with this top pressure. Now we've got Miller just trying to throw a couple of little shots off the bottom. He pushes off, shivers back to his... Oh! Push kick right through the middle, sends Shivers back to the cage, and then he hammers the lead leg. Zach Miller's hands are phenomenal. His boxing, his range, the power he possesses as well. But Shivers is getting in his face. It's great to see. Yeah, he looks a little more flowy, does Miller, in the, the striking. But Shivers, oh, each two combination oh. there. Immediately in on the clinch, and he drags his man to the ground. He's going to need a second there. Because Miller landed a couple of big shots. He did what he needed to do, though, Steve. Changed that range, changed the distance, and got it to the mat. Right now, though, unable to do much with that takedown as Miller gets his back up against the cage. Virgil Shivers now going to have to slowly climb. But this is Shivers' game. You can just see this is where he wants the fight. You can see, very, very strong top game, trying to control those wrists. Tying up that left leg as well of Zach Miller. Miller now trying to build that base, and, doing very well. And does, I mean, is he going to give up the back in return? No, he's going to turn into his man. Shivers tried just to pick him up, so he had lost that sense of balance and deposited him down, but Miller wise to that. Now trying to reap the leg. And this really is a, a, a matchup of style, Steve. You've got the striking, the Zach Miller, and then you've got that, that very fluid, heavy grappling coming from uh, Fergal Shivers. And is Miller looking to disengage here? I looked, looked for a second like he's trying to push off, but only a few seconds left in this round. Oh, Keeps I that know. body log and forces Fergal Shivers up against the cage. Both guys had some success in that round, Brock. Yeah, and they both sort of put each other, test each other in the realms where they're obviously the strongest. So you saw the striker, the Miller caught uh, Shivers during that round. But Shivers, his grappling is great. On the ground, you can see he does all the right stuff. He's trying to trap that rear arm, trying to work his way up, can, trying to control the legs as well. But so far, Zach Miller able to get back to his feet. Lots of support here for Zach Miller, though. Yeah, he's a, he's a very likeable young man. Last time he, we were out at um, UK Fighting Championships 18, he was sat cage side and he was watching the fight. You could see he was just itching to get in there. And he said, yeah, I'm going to get onto that next card. He's done that. He's back in action. And he's got a real test, a real tough test in the skill set of Fergal Shivers. Just quality matchmaking done again by Aaron Stee and the crew here. Round two, 
Again, Fergal, Shivers, the blue Eric shorts, and Zach Miller, the Combat Performance Academy prospect in the great pit bull. Stepping in with a front kick. He wants nothing to do with distance. Again, again, as soon as they separate, he's trying to find a way to Ooh. get in. Nice right hand there, Zach Miller. Fergal got to be careful. He dips that head a lot when he's throwing that shot. Yeah, Miller, Miller is one of those fighters as well that will make those adjustments. If he gets to read and see you ducking your head, oh. Fergal's ever swinging for the fences. Kind of tying themselves up here now. And this is where you'd, you'd want to see Zach Miller try and make some space, and he kind of gave up this clinch position, but now Shivers, this is where he would have wanted it. Let's see what he can do with it, Steve. Can he get it to the map? Force a takedown. Well, right now we're stuck in a little bit of a stalemate. I imagine the Shivers is working by millimeters, which is, but here we go. Yeah, he's just getting a read on the base of Zach Miller. Look for him to try and turn that corner. Oh, Miller's balance, great. though, very, very good. Yeah, that was phenomenal takedown defense. Got the planted in that heel, rotated a little bit back against the cage. And Shivers couldn't take him down. And this is the kind of fight that Miller doesn't want. This, this no, He wants space. He doesn't want to be wasting energy defending takedowns. But this is the type of fight that Shivers wants. You look at yeah. his record, two wins, and both of those come by unanimous decisions. He, you can see he's got that grinding, awkward style, and he can make it a real, you know, tussle for position. Oh, oh flicks it up. Then a, I mean, that's just cheeky, that is. Little question mark kick, then the side kick to the midsection. Oh, his upper body movement, Zach Miller, very, very strong, but he, he's got to make space. Look at that, angles off nicely. That knee, though, read and taken by Shivers, and now uses that to take the single leg to the mat. And Rob Friedman just shouting, get up, get up. That's what he wants from me. He doesn't want him stuck in this position. Thought he was looking to try and grab a hold of the Kimura lock there, but no. Right now, really trying to pull him back into that full guard. Yeah, Miller doing the right stuff now. He'll face out. Doesn't want to give up, but no inside control now. Heavy is Fergal Shivers, and we figure it's going to be knee on belly and slide over. Well, or is he no, going to go north, north south? South maybe. Looks like he was trying to set up something from that position, but now he's just trying to deal with the reaction. Final seconds of this round. Oh, the sit out almost from Zach Miller there. Oh. Have everything to play for in the final three yeah, minutes. Well, if, if you're in the corner, you wouldn't sit at rest on your laurels. You won't think I've got this safely or soundly. There's arguments both ways for me. Zach Miller doing the more damaging work. The, uh, that was a lovely little question mark kick that he threw up there and a teep to the body. But Shivers, once he gets that clinch, he's just hard work and it's because he's technically so good he can make himself weigh an absolute ton in that top position. With the short and with the short three-minute rounds, we have he when he's had top position, we haven't seen Fergal be able to do anything with it yet. But Zach Miller does not want to be back to back on the cage or back on the canvas in this round. It's all about space. It's all about space and range for Zach Miller. But you have that fighter in front of you that's just going to keep coming, keep attempting those takedowns. And you look at what he did, he attacked the strikes for the takedown. It was a knee up the middle that actually gave him the takedown in that second round. And look at that. Straight one route, one route only, directly to the opponent, closing that distance, not even giving Zach Miller the chance to circle out and make space. And this is where Shivers wants the fight. Again, Shivers trying to step in between the legs there. But it is all on Zach Miller to change the complexion of this, and he's trying. He's trying. He tried to turn out there, but the connection kept by at Shivers. Shivers. Now he's working now for that single lovely. Oh, the balance on Zach Miller. My goodness. One. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> takedown defense is phenomenal. The problem is, it's defense. Oh, now he's got that's a better spot for him. He might be looking for a takedown of his own. But 
pushes it against the cage. Let's see if he looks to separate or work for a takedown here. There's a reversal of position. It's been Fergal Shivers, you, usually the one pressuring his opponent up against the cage. Miller disengages. And now Miller wants to look at all that open water that he can use. But grappling makes you tired, Steve. There's yeah. no denying it. It is the most grueling, taxing part of mixed martial arts. And you can see now the shots coming from Zach Miller, slightly more labored. Good reaction on the takedown defense there. Oh, nicely oh. up the middle. Was that? I think it hurt him. Oh, my goodness. Big shots coming from Zach Miller. Look, and, and he's got over. it. He has got the finish. Look what it means to that yeah. young man. And it was the need of the midsection that led to the end of that. I'm sure of it. Without a doubt, he's shot that up the middle. Really deep into the gut there. Right in the bread basket. And you can't, like, wait, it's like a liver shot. You just can't fight your body then. It just gives up. It surrenders. And Zach Miller pulls out the finish in his return, taking him to 4 and 0 oh, Steve. Brilliant performance. Absolutely not going to leave it up to our judges just in case. But it was that lovely me and me into the bread basket, into the solar plexus. Took all the wind from Fergal Shivers, who dropped. Jay Furness right on the action, only two or two shots to finish it off. Wow, Zach Miller, even when you're even when you're on the back foot, you're a dangerous young man. Let's turn this one over to Mr. Brian Lacey, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referees cause a stop to the action. One minute thirty seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO in the red corner. Zach